Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel as we're on our way to Naporia, which I'm calling a lush green archipelago. The name of it is a little bit difficult to kind of pin down, but it's a very, very, very green island and I'm super excited to show you the finished result. Let's go. And here we are. Of course, before we take a look around, I'll show you the map and I'll explain a few things about that one. Um, and here you go. This is the map. I know it's 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 quite something. Um, as you might be able to notice right from the start, there are no cliffs on this island, which was actually kind of the challenge for me. So no cliffs, but tons and tons of waterscaping. And this is kind of what we ended up with. The dream address is right there on the screen if you do want to visit yourself, maybe even as we tour this uh, on here. And then let's go and look at the villagers. So of course, there's me in the top left corner this time. And then as villagers, I've got Grizzly, Henry, we got Buck, Marty, Dina, Winnie as well. We have Bones. Of course, there's Flurry, my absolute favorite villager, uh, B and Weber. I do have the DLC on this island, so all the houses are customized and also I changed their interior. If they're home, we're going to take a look at it, but I would say without further ado, let me kind of try and give you a good uh, view of this island and show you around. I'll try to like do a little bit of a circle, circular route, route, I don't, I don't know the word, um, <laughs> but basically I'll try to give you like a good, uh, good pathway all across this island. So we got the entrance right here, which I think gives you like a pretty good impression of the vibe of this island. So. We pretty much got a lot of green. Uh, that was like the things I had in mind. So no no cliffs, but lots of waterscaping, lots of green. And then also I found this blue path here. And so I decided to incorporate a bit of blue as well. Uh, so you can see a bunch of blue flowers. Of course, the water itself is blue. So um, yeah, and then everything is just with lots and lots of tiny little islands. So there's a lot of um, viewpoints kind of like this where you just kind of you know tilt the camera up and you You've got all these tiny, uh, you know, this like archipelago. That's kind of why we decided to call it that. Uh, this path leads to the resident services, which is quite close actually, but um, still like decently far enough away, especially because it's like off to the right. Behind it, we somehow seem to have a little bit of a trash dump. Uh, we'll get back to this topic later on, but basically my, my, my suspicion is that Nook just kind of, you know, throws everything there and, and thinks that no one is noticing. But of course we do notice. Of course we do notice. And then we have a little newspaper stand right here by resident services so people can stay informed, of course. And then let's go ahead to the right hand side. Uh, this one gives you two options, either to go up or go down. We'll go uh, to the shopping district, I think at the very end of the tour. I believe that's like the smartest. Uh, we got Marty right here. For some reason, I really wanted to have Marty. This is the first time I'm ever having like a Sanrio villager on my island. Marty is really heckin' cute. I do not like his house, like his original house, either on the outs outside or inside, so I of course changed that one. But apart from that, he's super adorable. And because he has the play hobby, I decided to give him a bunch of mushrooms and gyroids just so everything's like super playful and happy. And I actually decided to bring this out to the beach as well. And look who's here. We got Marty walking around and a lot of gyroids making some some music as uh, KK Bubblegum is playing in the background. And then you will notice that my beaches are super, super overgrown and lots of like green. Also this rock path is going on. Actually, this island started uh, as a swamp. Like I, I started calling it a swamp island, but then I knew from the start that I didn't want it to be like uh, muddy and brown and like rainy, but instead I wanted it to be like very vibrant and lush green. So at some point we decided to call it a lush green archipelago. But basically I also thought of this as like a bit of a swamp or like marsh because of all the water. Oh, and it seems like we have two villagers home right here. So this is uh, Buck and Winnie. They're uh, both horses, of course. So I gave them this like uh, archipelago island inspired by like a horse stable. So we've got a bunch of like wheat fields and hay beds. You'll also notice to the bottom here, we actually have a little horsey. Um, and then I would say without further ado, let me show you their interiors, I would say. So for the interiors, what I tried to do is kind of keep some elements from their original interior and then just kind of swampify it or just make it like a lot greener. So for Buck, he actually also had, he had, I don't know if he has a play hobby. No, 
I'm not sure. I actually don't know. But he had a lot of like play things in his uh, original interior, you know, like the the clock on the wall there and everything. So I decided to give him a bunch of the stuff again, just uh, in like maybe the green customization. He also has a picture of Winnie up in the corner and of course lots and lots of plants. And I think uh, I think it turned out quite cute. And right after Buck, I would also say we're just going to take a quick look at Winnie's place as well. So Winnie had kind of this like front yard or like garden vibe going on. She had like an, a, I think like a grass floor or something. So I decided to turn that into more of like an interior actually, but I still gave her a, a few of those vibes. So like I gave her these like garden chairs and um, which she seems to be, uh, which she seems to be happy about, which is good. And then she does have the hammock as her bed, of course, which is a little bit more chill. And then, of course, there's also Buck's picture because you know, cute. Um, and then she is very much into gardening. That's kind of how I like tried and transported this vibe across. And I also am quite happy with this. All right, and then we are going to actually go down here. So I did a bunch of these like tiny pathways um that lead you to like a new area and this is uh, the beach as you can tell so this is weber's place uh now weber has like the music or not the music hobby but his interior was a lot of music so you'll kind of see that as well if he's home and so i wanted to give him this little record player and of course we've got a lot of green going on again and then what i did because we also have the pier on the side of the beach is i gave him a um like a fish market or not i, I didn't give it to him but i made like I created a fish market on this on this beach right here, of course, with lots of green, a bunch of like blue uh, like accents and stuff like that. And then it wraps around the house and over on this side of it, we've got the actual pier, which is somewhat of a delivery zone. So think of Captain as, I guess, uh, the person who kind of, you know, takes the fish and brings its money or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically that's kind of the, the point of this beach. And then on the rock is the actual like fishing area. Um, which I also, I'm actually quite happy with, uh, with, especially this, like, uh, this signpost kind of leading you to the, to the rock. I don't know. I quite like how that turned out. Speaking of, I do have a couple of videos about this island on my channel, such as the beach decorating and the entrance decorating. Um, I'll try my best to kind of link those down below or li li link the playlist or something, but yeah. Um, and then this is Bones Plays. I'm actually just gonna quickly run up the beach because this is decorated, but this is pretty much just a filler area. You'll see a bunch of tents because this is close to the campsite. We'll look at this, um, I think at the very end of our tour, but you know, all you need to know for now is that Bones lives very close to the campsite and there's a little turtle rock up here. Uh, so, you know, there there is that. Also speaking of turtles, if you decide to visit this island yourself, I do have an outfit plan for you, uh, which is right by Resident Services. And then all over the island, you'll find a bunch of little presents for like little uh, photo equipment stuff. So like the foxtail and stuff like that. So have fun exploring if you do end up visiting. Uh, and then Bones, like I said, is close to the campsite. So I gave him a very like chill spot with hammocks and you see the tents in the background and all that kind of stuff. Of course, there's a little duck right here. And then let's hop uh, over to this path. So there's a few spots on this island where you have to hop, but I tried to keep them pretty minimal because I think it can get a little bit annoying, um, but that is one of them. And then uh, over this bridge here is Buck and Winnie's place just for like orientation purposes. And then let's follow this tiny little pathway over here, which leads us to, I think like the biggest land bridge on this island, which has like the gazebo on one of the, um, one of the sides, which I love, it's the overgrown one with the plants, like with the flowers. And I just, I really, really like this one. Um, I don't know, I'm quite happy with how this, this land bridge turned out. I kind of did this at just like my uh, first land bridge over on like Neverland, my very first island with like these stripes. And, but of course this is on like the ground uh, level or ground, ground floor, I guess, <laughs> since this island has like no cliffs. But yeah, I'm quite happy with this. We're not gonna go over to the campsite just yet. We're gonna do that later on. Instead, we're gonna go over here to the left-hand side, which is a bunch of farm islands. Um, this is especially pretty if you kind of stand in front of this frog and you tilt the camera up and then you, if you press minus, it goes into first person and then tilt the camera all the way up again and press minus twice 
So you go back out and then you can actually go even higher with the camera and you get quite a decent view of this area. You can kind of see the the um, farm islands I did here. We got a bunch of like different produce growing and uh, you see the the windmills and all that kind of stuff. And I yeah, I do recommend this this kind of photo trick uh, on this island or any island for that matter, because it always makes the view a little bit more impressive. Um, these little islands also continue to the to the bottom here but they're not really part of the path. So the official path thing is <laughs> like this thin stripe over here. And then we're gonna, instead of going up to B's house, we're instead going to hop down here to Dina's house, who's actually out and about. She lives on a little flower farm. So we got like the produce farm and the flower farm pretty close together. And she's got like a bunch of uh, green mums and white flowers and then a bunch of these like bigger tulips as well. Um, I would actually say that Dina and uh, Bee's interior might be my favorite out of the villager homes. So if they're home in the DA, uh, definitely make sure to go and visit. And, um, but yeah, this is, this is a little flower farm island. And as Dina is just sunken in that weed field, we're gonna go back to the path and then continue up here over this bridge. Also something I have not mentioned before, if you see any codes that you like, I will link my um, card or my website. I am currently working on my own website where I'm like transferring all the codes over, but regardless of whether that's gonna be finished when this is uploaded, I will link something down below for you where I've got all of these codes linked with the original creator. So. If you see anything that you like, uh, ch chances are very high you're gonna find it there. So definitely make sure to check that out and give all the love to the original creators as well. Um, and then over this little transitional transitional island with the with the gyrat and the little ducky, we're gonna continue over um, this way. We have Daisy Mae visiting today because it is Sunday. And then this is Bee's house. I kind of don't like that they're both not home for this tour, but you know, you can't really choose everything. <laughs> you can't be lucky all the time. Um, and this is another little farm area with a little shed in the background. And then you will see that I use these fences all the way uh, on the back of the island, because since I'm not using any cliffs, you have like a very good view of the ocean, which sometimes I just kind of didn't want because I wanted this to be much more like green and uh, like a like a thick kind of swampy, swampy island instead of like this ocean view uh, kind of vibe. And then over here is the secret beach, which is another little delivery zone, but this time it's not for fish. This time it is for the produce that kind of be that be kind of, uh, you know, uh, gets on her on her little farm so uh, she's able to kind of sell it all over there and then of course another little ducky I've got a bunch of those uh, you know scattered around the island all right heading back and then over this tiny little path over here will lead us to this lily pad pond <laughs> I think that is what we ended up calling it so it's just a little you know pond in the background with a bunch of those uh, lily roses or actually mum cushions but you know uh, you know the drill and then on the lily pads and stuff I kind of, I don't know I had this like idea and I kind of just wanted to create it obviously my my switch is not modded so I can't really put them in water so I just had to make these little stepping stones but I think it t still turned out quite cute and then before we head all over the bridge, which is the official pathing, let's uh, investigate this little garbage puddle. And there seems to be a can. So let's hop over here and see what's going on on this island. <gasps> oh no. This is what I told you about earlier. This is um, the big like trash dump rock. This is where Nook just throws everything that he doesn't want to be part of the island. So it's like a very inofficial path. You don't see this at first glance, but it is here. We got a bunch of like trash and like garbage juice and just it's it's not great. It's not great. But you know, it's still I think, you know, in Animal Crossing trash and like boxes and all that kind of stuff still kind of looks cute. So I mean, why not? Why not? <laughs> All right, and then we're actually on our way to my own house, um, which just has this little, like uh, table display uh, to the right hand side. Actually, by the way, if you want to go ahead and sit down uh, right here in the back, you can squeeze through the side of the table and then get like a pretty good view like this and just kind of enjoy some pumpkin soup, I guess, which I would actually take right now. Thank you very much. 
Um, but then let's let's kind of leave the food behind and uh, go over to the side. Now, before I go in, let me briefly show you uh, how this area is set up. So we've got my house, um, and then this is connected with the little land bridge that we're gonna head over in just a second. And then over here to the left-hand side lives my best friend, Flurry, because she is my favorite villager, though so she has to live very close to me. She's also quite into like gardening and flowers and all that kind of stuff. And then here in the back area of the beach, there's just a tiny little laundry area for the both of us. Um, and then maybe before we go into my house, let's maybe go into Flurry's house and take a look at that one. There we go. I think maybe Flurry's house is the only one where I didn't keep the original concept. So I gave her like a, oh my God. <laughs> I gave her like a completely new like interior. She does have like a, of course, like a cozy bed and like a place to chill, which she did kind of have that before, but you know, also you might notice Grizzly's picture right there because Grizzly and Flurry are kind of a thing on this island. And then, you know, she's just got like the music player and stuff. The TV is turned off though, because most of the time she just likes to read and uh, look at nature and walk around outside. And she actually doesn't use it much, but it is there because uh, maybe Grizzly likes it, who knows? All right, let's go ahead and continue the tour. And by that, of course, I mean the tour of my house because also my house is decorated on the inside. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at that as well. And here we are, you might notice that I blocked up some rooms, which in no way, shape, or form is because I was too lazy to decorate them. No, absolutely not. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of the living room somewhat. So you will notice that I've used this wallpaper and these stickers a whole bunch. And then there's a tiny little duck trail leading to the outside. So there's, they seem to have wandered in at some point and now they're just kind of walking outside. And then over to the back left, we have a cozy little kind of reading nook. Uh, or also playing Animal Crossing, of course. You can, there is a switch right there. There are books right there. It's absolutely up to you. And of course we got some delicious food. My absolute favorite cupcakes, by the way, the brown sugar cupcakes, I'm just absolutely in love with them. Um, and then over to this side also, uh, we have a little cozy coffee corner um, because I love coffee and I need I need it in my life. I actually have one right right beside me right now. And then just with this little cozy display, let's head over to the kitchen. Here we go. Uh, again, I've used this wallpaper, but this time I kind of closed it off. There's like no door or anything. There is just a setup for you to sit and enjoy all the delicious food that's prepared in this kitchen. And uh, actually, I'm sorry to say, but I don't think there's actually a way to sit down on these chairs. Um, it's just to look at, it, it's just to look at, um, but yeah, I quite like how this turned out. We got a bunch of boxes, of course, uh, just a couple of things being stored, a bunch of delicious food. And then this like a counter, uh, in the back with the beautiful view of the forest that's in the back of the house. And then if you know me and you've seen some of my islands before, you know, I love a good basement build. Like this is Honestly, the most fun to decorate is to just litter your entire basement with stuff that you would actually have in a basement. So uh, so here's that. Also, there are, for some reason, there's some vines growing here, which maybe we should be worried about, but it's okay. It's a swampy, like very green island, so it totally makes sense. Um, I used the, the kind of muddy wallpaper on, in this room, but then I also used this, I don't know if you can see it in the back left there, I used this like green border just to, to anchor it a little bit more in like the green color. And then there are some spider webs, there are some cracks on the, on the wall. And then as you can see, we got a whole bunch of boxes, there are some paint cans, there are some like, uh, I don't know, apples and sugar, I think that is, some, some other cans, like food cans. <laughs> and lots and lots of boxes, some toys, uh, like a guitar, all the kind of stuff that you would just kind of randomly store in a basement if you're not using it at the specific time. And um, I, of course, tried to like adapt it to the color green and I can't, I, it was so much fun. I really, this, I think this is my favorite, this was my favorite room to decorate. And last but not least, we got the upstairs, which has another one of those beautiful doors. So this time it's more of a balcony and uh, it, my bed is like right beside it, which like, isn't this like a dream come true? Imagine this in real life, this would be amazing. Um, but yeah, we, we do have some music playing. We just got a, a whole bunch of cozy spots. Um, there is another switch over here. You can just play like curled up on the sofa. There is a few arts and crafts things. And um, I got a little doggo and then we just have like a cozy little 
uh, bear picnic tent moment on the right hand side with again my favorite cupcakes because they're so delicious and i would just love to have them in real life and then one more thing i do want to show you is the um like clover stickers on this side i don't know for some reason this made me really happy because it just looks like they're all over the wall kind of like that and i really i really uh, enjoy using those in a bunch of interiors actually but enough about interiors for now let's continue the tour although of course someone might still be home all right, we're gonna head over this land bridge as well, which kind of gives you like a pretty cute view of my house. Again, if you maybe do the little photo trick, I think this could actually, I've never even looked at the spot like that, but I feel like this could be really, uh, really cute. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is cute. This is quite cute, oh my God. All right, anyway, we're moving on. <laughs> we're moving on. Uh, this land bridge then leads you to Grizzly's house, who is actually home. Look at that. Um, now, Grizzly lives very close to the museum, which I don't know if, yeah, you can kind of see the roof of the museum tent right there. But he lives close to the museum, and then I always picture him as kind of like the, um, the wood chopping kind of guy. So he has a bunch of those things, and then also a couple of bugs. And then I think before we continue, let's also look at that interior as well. As you can see, oh, Grizzly is crafting. But as you can see, I transported this like wood chopping uh, kind of aesthetic to the inside as well. He likes to craft things with with uh, with wood and stuff, which he I guess he's currently doing. And then you might spot Flurry's picture in the background there as well, because they're just adorable and have pictures of each other in their house. I absolutely love it. And then yeah, just a just a whole bunch of like wooden items and uh, of course plants because it does it does need to be very very green. And back outside, let's continue over to the left and then to the to the bottom, pretty much. Um, you will notice again, a lot of this is basically just little fillers, lots of green, like plants, different crops, different rock items. Um, I just let the rocks kind of spawn randomly on this island and then try to kind of work them in. So I didn't really want them to spawn in specific spots, but I think it ended up being okay, like wherever they wherever they ended up happening. And then this is the museum. I decided to keep it in a tent on this island, uh, which you can do if you just don't donate anything to Blathers, which is kind of a little tough sometimes. Plus the most annoying thing is that you can't really uh, move the tent anymore once you've placed it for the very first time. But I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. We got Grizzly's house in the background, like I said. And then, you know, this, this maybe they, they put up the tent because they found some stuff and they're kind of just digging these up. So there's a bunch of like fossils around and of course a bunch of bugs as well. Plus this like butterfly, which almost like a paid actor, isn't it? Thank you, butterfly. I appreciate that. <laughs> Let's continue over here. And then it seems like Henry is also home. So we actually have a bunch of people home. I honestly had it happen that like one person on the entire island was home. Well, let's take a look at it. And Henry has B over right now, which is heckin' cute. Oh my god. Henry actually had a very cute interior like before I redid it. So I kept a bunch of stuff. Like I kept his entire furniture things and the wallpaper, I think, uh, was also the one I'm using right now. But of course, I added a whole bunch of things. Like I can't just have like a super empty interior. So I added a whole bunch of things. I added a whole bunch of plants. Um, he does have a little workbench to the front there. And then this little counter table that B is using the wrong way around. And then his bed to the front there. Heckin' cute. I, I really had fun with this interior because he just has something so good to work with. So many villagers are now very confused because we just like looked at the house and then left again. Also, I hope that all, all these interiors are not uh, like annoying or or kind of taking you away from, from the tour. But they were kind of part of the entire process and uh, they were a lot of fun to kind of do and to just bring this outside vibe to the inside as well. While still keeping it as like a regular house almost. But yeah, um, we're just hopping to the beach here from Henry's house and taking a look at this one. There is a bunch of turtles. There is a little chill sitting spot right there, more turtles to the back. You know, if you find some beans on the tour, because that might happen, go and feed them, please. Go and feed the turtles. And then um, also you will notice there are some, some turtle eggs, so, so don't step on them, please. And then to the front here, I just put a bunch of the old boats, like the, I think yacht is how you say it. Um, and uh, again, a lot of green pathing and like flowers and filler coats just to make this as like green and swampy and overgrown as possible. And then we're gonna be heading 
over this lamp bridge, which you actually saw from the entrance. Uh, so we're kind of back by the entrance, but we're not done yet because there's two areas I haven't shown you, but I thought it was like the smartest to kind of do this uh, towards the end. Also, by the way, you can kind of squeeze through the this flower here if you want to, if you want to get to the beach a little bit quicker. And with that, we're just going to head over to the... Oh, this is always the spot where my character accidentally hops. So I guess the planning wasn't too great there. But we're going to head on over to the uh, shopping district because I haven't shown this to you. So instead of going down to Marty's house, we're now going up um, to the shopping district. I wanted to actually put them together here. Uh, and I think it kind of turned out pretty cute. So Abel Sisters is to the front and we just got a couple of dresses displayed, some shoes, all that kind of stuff. And uh, it was kind of a pain to get that outfit in the in the window because of course I ended up with a lot of pink ones again. So I had to time travel back and forth a whole bunch, but I'm quite happy with what it ended up being. And then Nooks over here is, um, did you really expect something else? It's boxcore, of course it is. Uh, with the broken radio making some beautiful music. <laughs> um, but basically, we've got a bunch of box core, and of course, again, I tried to like uh, make this um, much more green than any like previous box cores, and I really, really love decorating this. This was a lot of fun. Again, by the way, this is a good spot to kind of try that photo trick. I don't exactly know where to stand because it's kind of hard to get the entire roof of nooks in the picture. But if you stand a little bit closer to the front, yeah, so this is not not entirely it. So I guess you would have to go onto the onto the bridge maybe, but you get a pretty decent view of the entire uh, shopping district, which I think is quite, quite cute. And then let's head over to the land bridge again. So uh, this was previously uh, connected to Bones House, if you remember, and then we decided to head up over the land bridge, but you can also go to Nooks on the left-hand side. We're gonna head up here again, and this time we're actually gonna go to the right-hand side, which is the campsite. And this, I think, is my favorite area. Now it's a very like closed off section. You can jump to some of the other islands if you want to. You can squeeze through like a few areas and then hop. So if you want to kind of explore this, go ahead and do that. But it's basically meant to be seen from the front. Um, we do have a uh, Sherb visiting today because uh, he, I, honestly, he was just the first amigo that I could grab. So we got Sherb visiting today and I did want to have a tent, a great view right here. And then if you do the little photo trick, maybe actually uh, let's head a little bit further back because then we might be able to get the puppy in the picture as well. But if you do the photo trick of like, you know, tilting it up and exiting and all that kind of stuff, first person, then you get a pretty heck and get view of the campsite archipelago. And um, yeah, I think this is my favorite area. So I felt like it was appropriate to end the tour here because that's pretty much it. That's my finished island, Naporia, a lush green archipelago or swampy island, whatever you want to call it really. Um, and I'm really sad to see it go. I'm ha I'm heckin' excited. I got it to be uh, complete and I can show it to you now because I'm really proud of how it turned out. I think it pretty much turned out the way that I had hoped and pictured. Um, but I'm really, really sad to see it go because I feel like this might have been my favorite island. It was just, all the waterscaping was just so, so much fun to create. So I think I'm going to really miss working on this island. Also, you know, considering the fact that I just love green, like this was just so so much fun to to create um but yeah this is it we did it and we finished this island and we uploaded it and it's ready for you to tour if you if you want to of course and then um let's go into let's get into position on this on this land bridge maybe uh also you might notice the sky is a very soft clouds which makes me very happy as well and then I would say, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being part of this journey. Um, we built most of this island on stream. I will try and link some uh, link my my second channel where I upload all of my stream uploads in the comment in in the, in the description box below, <laughs> in the description box. So if you want to check it out, you can. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you want to see uh, any future island progress. And then I hope you have an awesome, awesome time until I see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.